This is our moment past COVID, when people realized the role that parks and public spaces played when everything else was closed, our parks and public spaces remained open, and so now you're seeing more and more attention and investment in our parks and public spaces. This is happening all over the country. Places are being changed because of their parks and public spaces, and that's going to continue. Democratic, free public spaces that all can enjoy. Because when the mayor brought me on, he says our system is unfair, there are underserved communities that are not getting a quality park. But we had to understand, were we being fair or not fair? So we had to look at how much New York City spent, and you could do this wherever you work, how much New York City spent over 20 years, and it turned out it was $6 billion over 20 years to improve parks. So we had to figure out, without polling anyone, without speaking to elected officials, how many parks in New York City received little to no investment over 20 years? Who got left out? And it turned out 215 parks. And so the mayor and I said, that's not fair, and we had to change it. That's what fairness means. But today, the challenges that we're facing in parks with climate change, extreme weather events, droughts, flooding, wildfires, the public health crisis, racial and social justice, divisive politics, and now the post-COVID behavior, what's next? So we talk about what's next. It's really about equity, access, and inclusion, planning and placemaking, resiliency. What I'm going to talk about is in red. I will not talk about what is in gray. But I do want to talk about caring for parks, maintenance versus caring. I believe we as professionals need to watch emerging trends like a stockbroker watches the market. We also have to watch to make sure we're responding to the demographics of our time. Diversity, equity, inclusion, and access. It's not something you do, it's who you are.